everyone, this is Nick from Coral's Coral, and today we'll be fragging the chalices. Let's get fragging. We're going to frag these Russian roulette rainbow chalices. There's a frag there. There's a couple frags there in the center. They're kind of scattered all throughout this tank. And then there's a slots of color chalice over here, and we'll be fragging that piece as well. Um, chalice corals are an LPS coral, and so they have they grow their own skeleton, and they encrust over whatever surface they're on. So um, whatever frag plug or rock or whatever, that's the shape that they'll take. Sometimes they can be nice and flat, sometimes they're bumpy. Just whatever they're on, that's what they'll look like. We're just going to cut the best frags we can. We're going to kind of move around and try to get all the colors on the same frag. Um, as you can see with these rainbow chalices, the colors are really bright, but they're kind of random. If you get a chalice that has just one color on it, say you just get a part with like the red with the orange eyes, eventually they usually will start to develop the other colors, the blue and the green, but it takes a little bit of time, it, if ever. Sometimes they don't. You just kind of have to hope that they do, and if they do, then you're lucky. If not, then oh well. But I, when I frag them, I try to make sure that all the frags have every color in it, at least a little bit of each color, so that you know that they're going to grow out to be super nice. So that's our goal today is to cut all of our frags that ha so they have every color in them. And the other thing to be careful about with chalices is they seem to be really sensitive fraggers. And so when I cut little pieces, um, like if I cut this, say I cut one eye frags for all of this, one or maybe even two eyes, most likely they're not going to do very good. So when I cut them, I try to make sure there's only one or two open wounds so that they have at least two sides that are still healed and not messed with at all. And then I give them a couple weeks to heal. It takes a lot more time that way, but it has given me a really good survival rate. I, I usually keep all of my frags of the chalices. I don't lose any of them. When I have tried to go fast and just cut them small, then I usually lose a decent amount of them. So to keep them nice and healthy, we're just going to make a couple cuts each. And uh, sometimes we might be able to get some small ones. So I've already cut these up once, but uh, we'll just see what we can get. So we'll go over to the saw. We'll go over our supplies real quick. So I've got my wet band saw. We've got a razor blade in case we need it, which we probably won't for the for chalice fragging, but sometimes you do. Super glue, bone cutters, a reservoir to keep the frags I make to clean them off. And then we've got these plugs, reused plugs that had coral on them before, something happened to them, and uh, we're repurposing them. So, let's get started. Alright, so here's the piece that I was just showing you guys in the water. There's a couple good places to cut. I'll probably cut, let's see, I can make about a, a two eye or maybe three frag right here. I'll cut here and then get this blue over here. And then I'll probably cut right here as well. And that should make three frags. And that will be good enough for this piece for today. We'll let it rest and once it heals we'll see if we want to cut it any smaller or just sell the frags as they are. Try to get it off this plug since we don't need to cut through that if we don't have to. There we go.
kick them off in there to get the dirt, the dust off from fragging. Well, there's the one frag. You can see it, it has the red and pieces of blue all along. Especially the edge is important because that's what's going to grow out. So this is going to develop into a super nice piece. It's got that awesome rainbow eye in it with all the orange and the green. And it's still got some of its rim. So I'm going to try to just make the base that it's on just a little smaller if I can. There we go. That was easy. Let's pop it right here. There's the other two pieces. There's that one. We were able to cut just right where I wanted. So this side's mostly red. It's still got some blue in it. And then it's got blue here with a couple of stripes. So. All of these should go out to be pretty cool pieces. This colony was a really good one. It didn't really have any lame parts that were all one color, which you don't always get in a rainbow chalice. There's that one. That one's got a lot of nice uh, mix of red and blue. Let's uh, go for the slots of color chalice now. This one's really similar. The blues are a little bit different. They're a little bit of a lighter blue, and the red's a little bit darker than the other uh, Russian roulette chalice. And then right now it doesn't quite have it, but you can see a little bit here. This one, when I first got it in, it had a super thick rim, and it's starting to get that back again. I had it, I think, in too high a light, so it was kind of losing a lot of its color. But it's starting to come back, starting to get that signature, really, really thick rim that it had when I first got it. So I'm pretty happy about that. And this piece should make some pretty cool facts as well. So let's take it to the saw. Okay, so I'll probably cut this one mostly down the middle. Um, just kind of right in half. There's still a, a good combination of colors. And then I'll cut it one more time on both sides try to again get just a good mix of all the colors in each frag I make and then most likely on this one we'll see how the frags come out I'll probably end up cutting these one more time in a couple of weeks once all the cuts have healed over So the other side, this is a, like a three-sided piece, so the other two sides are good. So this one I'll, I'm going to cut in half one more time, um, probably right here. Looks like I'll get just kind of right down the middle again. Looks like I'm going to get the best combo of colors on each track. video. It's been about a week. wanted to show you the frags and how they're all looking. Everything's looking great. And so I'll show you the slots of color frags. Then I'll show you the Russian roulette frags. It'll be available on the site once they start growing their rim in a couple more weeks.